On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one, a blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, I'm a peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps. Uh, we are going to kick it off over there in the war-torn, crime-riddled, violence prone Nannyville community where the war has turned up a notch yeah man so from the other day we see that the war has intensified and now another life was taken now on your screen is the no deceased man and he has since been identified by his aliases as fam or pungi it is said that he lived in the top Nannyville area known as Texas. Now it is said that Pungi was riding his motorcycle along Paddington Terrace when he was ambushed by armed criminal elements driving in a white Toyota Pro Box motor car. The pictures and videos received by On The Spot News Media shows the now deceased laying lifeless literally still on his bike in the middle of the busy thoroughfare as pedestrians and motorists walks and drive by poor i may tell my peeps the thing rough but anyway i will be playing for you a small video clip well a small audio clip i should have stated that will give you a better visual in your head to understand what had taken place in the streets of paddington terrace the video is most definitely not youtube friendly Hence the voice clip. Listen. Oh my god, this man just gets shot off his by gunshot to his head. Oh my god, right in front of me. Right in front of me. Gunshot right in him and the caravan them just street Paddington Terrace. Now there you have it my peeps, another resident of the volatile Nannyville community losing his life due to the ongoing gang violence in his community. Now on the spot news media is not for sure the personality of the now deceased man if he is directly or indirectly or linked to anyone involved in the ongoing gang war but one thing for sure residents living in and around Nanneville to include that of Swallowfield is to be mindful that this ongoing gang war has the potential to take even a more deadly turn and also to the authorities please send more police personnel and army personnel in that space to stem the ongoing gang war before it escalates and more people end up losing them three pints we all know how the community of nannyville can get because we have all witnessed and seen it in recent times where many has lost their lives. Now persons are pointing fingers as always. Top a pine fingers on the bottom and the bottom a pine fingers on the top. Now the Dan for bottom Nannyville, Aisha. You know your strength, you know the powers where you have. And it is within your powers right and now for stop Wagwan. So we would advise you if you put a nip on this thing here before this thing here 
escalate and even you or your family members or loved ones end up lose for them three pints. And just to note that this war can also escalate in the United States of America as Aisha literally just fly down and in the place and the residents in Nannyville are stating categorically clear that it is his presence that now breeds the life of violence back in the place. Yeah, man. So, in a way, make we continue. Now, over there in the troubled, war torn, crime riddled Kingston Western Police Division, that police division has been rocked yet again with another brutal slaying of another young man. Now, presently on your screen is the now deceased man. He has since been identified as Dada, said to be from a section of Trenchstone or Rima known as Tree Piece. Now, Dada is said to be the son of a one-time strongman known as Bunny T, who lost his life, not violently, but by an illness some years ago. Now, it is said that he was coming from a party along First Street in the community when he was approached by these two criminal elements now presently on your screen. Now, this one is known as Sooty. Most definitely not a stranger to the police, not a stranger to you, the regular members of Chan Public in Rima and Trenchtown. And most definitely not a stranger to that of On The Spot News Media, as he has been featured on this channel several times as a real old dirty kind of boy, a old knackis and clappis within his own right. <laughs> yeah, man. And he was not alone as he was in the company of his fellow Nakis and Clappis known as Tyrick. This little youth here is also a known Nakis and Clappis. So both of them colluded and took the life of Dada last night. Now one would wonder why Dada end up lose Fim Tree Pines. Now, who remember the knockings and clappings that took place some months ago in last year, where this man presently on your screen identified as Crouch life was taken. Now, Crouch lost his life in a hail of bullets along with another known criminal element. But they said that Crouch was an innocent person that lost his life. Even other persons get caught up to include a child during that brutal knockings and clappings. Now it is said that this youth here, Dada's knockings and clappings, is in retaliation for that of Crouch. Now they are saying that one innocent from Fidem side get clapway, them have to clap away another innocent from the other side, regardless of the fact that Dada. Nana knock it and clap it upon them, but Dada got to go. Yeah, man. So, this knockings and clappings is most definitely in retaliation to that of the knockings and clappings of Crouch. Crouch, as we all know, is related to other top knockings and clappings to include the Dan himself for Overima, known as Sledge. Yeah, man. So, the war has taken another twist. So you don't know say this Rima warrior has intensified, it has turned up a notch. So retaliation, of course, can definitely be expected. You know what is really sad about all of this, my peeps, is that today, at the 1st of February, the first day of Black History Month, and not just that, it is also the birth month of the legendary Bob Marley. And all of what I've just spoken about, the knockings and clappings, there is right in the vicinity of where the legendary Bob Marley grew up. So these people don't even understand that what they have in that era of Trenchtown is treasure that the entire world would want to see. Instead of using what they have to make it 
benefit them. I just be a knockings and clappings night and day. Every day, another young youth takes the life of another young youth. How can we even get another legendary soul out of that place? Given the fact that every day, another one bites the dust. Poor I'm here telling my peeps. The thing rough. Now I could chat it along the southern coast of Jamaica and head into the cool, lush green hills of Manchester. But it is not no fun type of thing over there in Manchester. As you don't know, this channel here brings crime news. Now the Manchester police have launched a homicide investigation after the body of a man who was reported missing since Monday was found in bushes in the upscale Mandeville community of Ingleside on Wednesday with what appears to be some knife-up wounds all over the body. Now relatives have identified this man presently on your screen, the now deceased, as Colin Watts said to be age 52 and a land surveyor and a resident of Hanbury that is near the Ingleside community. A police source stated that they observed wounds on Watts' body whilst it was being removed from a ditch on Tangerine Drive in Ingleside. In an initial report, his sister Kay Watts stated that her brother went missing on Monday after he left home to exercise in the community. She stated, and I quote, We have been searching for my brother from Monday. He went missing on Monday. He went for a walk and yesterday, Wednesday, we came across the body of my brother off the road on Tangerine Drive in a little ravine ditch, end quote, she stated. Now the entire family is grieving the passing of their brother and wondering what could have been the motive for his tragic passing. Yeah, man. Now over there in uh, the parish of uh, St. Elizabeth, the neighboring parish of St. Elizabeth, for the past couple of years, boy, I may mean, tell you, say the bread basket parish of Jamaica most definitely not going good. We can't to call it St. Bess anymore because the worst of events start happening in a St. Bess. Now, the St. Elizabeth police are searching for clues which could lead them to a group of criminal elements, some old dirty kind of boy who robbed and canned up two farmers during a pre-dawn ambush on Wednesday morning in the parish. It is said that the incident took place in the community of Newcastle shortly after midnight. The deceased man presently on your screen has since been identified as 69-year-old Desmond Wright, said to be of a Williamsfield district address. His 67-year-old brother was also seriously wounded in that brutal attack. It is said that both farmers drove into the Newcastle community to purchase cattle when they were pounced upon by six criminal elements armed with handguns who demanded the cash from them. The farmers handed over over half a million Jamaican dollars to the amount of 600,000 to the men who then opened gunfire hitting them all over their bodies. Desmond got hit in the chest and his brother got a can in his leg. The wounded siblings were transported to the hospital where Desmond was pronounced you know what. Investigators from the St. Elizabeth Criminal Investigation Branch are urging anyone with any information as it relates to the suspect to contact the Black River Police and furnish them with the necessary information. Now my peeps are two elder them here, one 69 and the other 67. Still at work, still are putting in them pound of flesh every day. Save up them little money if you go buy some more cattle. And this is the thanks we give the elder them. We still have put them shoulder to the wheel to ensure that Jamaica is fed. 
poor I may tell my peeps. If this no rough, I don't know what is. No, how that other brother I got continue living his life. Knowing that his hard work never paid off. It only led to the demise of his 69-year-old older sibling. Jamaica, when are we going to start taking crime and violence serious in this country? When is our authorities going to get some guts? And when we, the regular members of Chan Public, are going to pull our efforts together and fight against these criminal elements? It is going to definitely take some strong people as some mothers I figure give up them sons and some girlfriends I figure give up them dirty man and some fathers I figure give up them son and some wife I figure give up them husband and so forth. So for this to really take a serious turn and for us to put a stamp on crime we need the efforts of everyone who is living fearful right now. Because no feel say true your man or your friend or your brother or father is a knockis and clappies. That makes you safe. That makes you more so of a target. And not because you are not involved in any form of knockings and clappings are related to anybody in a, any mix-up like the 69 year old and the 67 year old brothers that makes you safe you are not because obviously they weren't safe they were set up by probably the same persons who they were going to to buy the cattle from so I hope that the police go hold on and them people a fuss and haul and pull them and find out what one and how the two brothers end up get caught up and one end up losing his three pints. But anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.